Hello and welcome back to a new Unreal Engine for you tricky video. So today's video is about how to create custom console commands. As you know, with uh, Unreal Engine, if you press this little weird button next to one in any game or any game engine, this means you are going to enter the console commands. If you press this while in editor, you can enter console commands that will be executed in the edit mode, like here. Or if you press this inside the game, regardless you're running the game in editor or standalone game, you can do the same thing so if you press this here and you start like rendering rendering or something so you have all sorts of things and as you can see is while you start typing it tells you how many commands you have that match uh, whatever you entered I just entered R and I have like 609 commands so sometimes you need to add your own console commands like if you play the game like uh, any real paced game or any or whatever huge game like this, you'll find they have always uh, custom console commands. Uh, I'm not speaking about console commands, but like uh, hiding stuff and showing stuff or profiling or something like this. I'm speaking about having console commands that is uh, uh, related to the game itself, related to the gameplay. It's about changing something in the game. It's it's useful for for designers or it's useful for like uh, testing purposes. Uh, sometimes you need to test values. To make sure this is correct value so anyways so we are going to discuss how we can add things here here to speak about how can you use blueprints to control things here so anyways i'm going to stop this game so it stopped okay so you have to know that the only way to do this using blueprints is through the level blueprint so if you open level blueprint and you right click and you just type custom event so custom event is basically like a function okay so you enter a custom event and let's call it a uh, player or let's 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 give it a name like a uh, player speed change something like this and it's just for now just hit print and we are going to print something should happen so I'm going to save this is in level blueprint if I hit play nothing being executed because it never been called but if I hit the console uh, thing and I start type CE which means custom event I have a list with all the custom events that's available in this level as you can see here player speed change when I choose this and hit enter I have something should happen being printed so is this is everything no but uh, what I mean here I just printed something but you can put huge amount of logic to be executed or let's do something for testing purposes as, as you see here it's called player speed change so let's change the player speed so I'm going to get all actors of class this is the fastest way to do this and it's a third person character because this is basically this character is based on third person character uh, blueprint and then I'm going to get just the first one which means the only one we have here and then we are going to get a character movement which is a movement component and basically when, when you start running uh, this example by default I think the player have here uh, the maximum walking speed is 600 uh, max walking speed is 600 uh, so let's just make it something slower and it's uh, set max walking speed walk speed now let's set this to let's say 100 done compile and run this is my speed now I hit console and custom event speed change now if I start walking it's super slow it walks with 100 so is this is everything no actually because you can throw some parameters because let's say we are designers we are testing for now so we, we want to test on the fly we don't have to stop come here uh, change the speed save compile and run the game we want to change this at some time so we can do this here as well so we can add here uh, let's say 
new speed which is a float and let's just save and here rather than setting this to 100 let's just set it to the new speed so now when I run this it's still here 600 okay so I hit the console and custom event player change speed I hit space and enter the parameter as you can see here it tells me it needs a float so I just entered the 100 and now when I move it slow now I, I don't have to stop to try another value I just press console uh, uh, custom event and let's say speed of 2000 it should be super fast as you can see super fast oh it's super fast let's again custom event and change speed to 5000 yeah I like speed so it's going to accelerate quickly and game super fast or we can just custom event and change 600 again and this is the normal speed we used for is this everything? no we can pass as much as we want from parameters as long as we are going to pass the values in order so what I mean we can put here uh, a new variable or a new like uh, input now let's call it a uh, message and let's just print use this as a string and here we are going to print whatever message came from here so if we hit play again everything's fine custom event and it tells me uh, I need if string it always tells you what what is the last argument or what is the last parameter you need but you still can pass more than one parameter so here is the player speed change and we set uh, the value of the speed let's make it uh, let's say uh, the 3000 something to make it fast so we can notice and then the message you want to print uh, all sorted and hit enter all sorted and if I start running it run super fast so yeah you can do lots of things and don't try or waste your time trying to implement this through anything else like uh, like a character blueprint you cannot uh, put things here like for example if we can put custom event here and let's call it uh, test call and save compile and we hit play and then custom event we cannot find the test call here and you cannot do this within like uh, game mode or game instance or whatever you can just do this within uh, a level blueprint this is actually uh, a good thing and bad thing at the same time because sometimes you have console commands in your games that need to be executed in certain levels or certain places or certain areas and you cannot execute uh, everywhere in the game and this is a good thing that you can do this from here but the bad thing is that if you have an uh, you have something like this to change the speed for the character and you have 100 level so you have to make sure that you copy this and paste within every level you have in your game uh, so yeah this is how you can create console commands and one more thing let's try this in build so to make sure all things working so I'm, I'm on Windows now so I'm going to build for Windows and mm, here in desktop let's just this build and okay give it some time So my fancy project done with packaging, so I can just uh, oh okay, it's obvious. So I can uh, open here the test build. I run the executable. Same game, nothing fancy. So I can just hit console command and type uh, custom event and test call. And let's say um, two thousand. I'm running now. Still running the same speed. Probably because I didn't enter all the values that's needed for the custom event, so I, I put it again C and then let's say uh, 2000 done. So it prints 2000 again. Oh, yeah, so this is one problem here. Uh, 
let's just close this and let's delete this build uh, because the problem here as you can see I have here this small star next to my uh, my map and the problem here regardless I hit it here compile for the level it is saved as a blueprint but when I do the packaging for the project and the level was not saved things would be messed up so here I need to come first and save all and as you can see the level need to be saved so I save the level here and then I clear and let's make a new build packaging windows and same place I let it build yeah this is actually quite nice to to find because I faced this problem several times uh, level blueprint acting weird if I don't things to the level blueprint and I compile it runs fine in the editor but if I made a build without saving uh, the project or the whole project or saving the current map changes I still getting problems uh, yeah with the level blueprint logic So packaging done, uh, let's run the game one more time here, and here is the game. So I'm running with the default 600 speed, I enter the console command, uh, custom event and change player speed, I say uh, like 2000 and say faster. So I hit enter. It prints faster here and when I start running it runs super fast I come again and enter console command custom event and player speed change and let's say just 100 and say slower and then I hit enter it prints slower and then the character keeps walking very very slow so yeah this is going to work with editor going to work with uh, builds regardless if it's mobile or uh, console or PC or whatever your platform it's going to work so yeah I hope you learned something new I hope it helps you uh, this is actually was one of the questions being uh, sent over the email uh, and over the YouTube channel as well so don't hesitate uh, sending questions or asking about things uh, yeah it might end in a video so yeah thank you bye